and welcome to another video. Today I have this for transit. It's 2016 and I will read the ECU. It's a uh, SID 211 through OBD and also we will write the data back through OBD. Where you should pay attention when you try to read this ECU, you should pay attention if this one is protected or not, you know. I have flex connected. We'll proceed with flex with this one because flex can make a good job through OBD. Okay, let me to close the radio. I go through OBD as I said. And here when you make the connection, it we will tell you here if this one is protected or not, okay? You noticed I have between 13 and 14 volts. I don't have a battery maintainer. I just have another car outside. And let me show you also here. Okay. You should follow the procedure. If it will tell you to switch off, you should do like that. And I said I will do here. Oh shit. I am too slow. Okay, I will show you now where you should pay attention. It try to connect you. Actually, let's go from up to down. You see? Checking the password, flash unprotected. Okay, if flash is protected, don't try to write this through OBD. Now we will proceed to read the EE prompt first. It will tell you to disconnect after readings, to don't start the car. But we don't disconnect because we should proceed also to read the flash. It's 37%. All the time you should make this one on the big size and pay attention over here because he will give you information. I mentioned in one video earlier, when you have an issue, I believe it was Simons, I don't remember which, which one, 18 I believe, yes. With Flex you can do it through OBD, but before you attempt to make a reading because it doesn't allow you, you should make a writing first of the new uh, version of that uh, software, and then he will allow you to extract the, the data. It happens to me, it was uh, Audi, uh, Audi S5 2014 or 16, something like that. And you should pay attention because all the time he will give you information over here. This was the idea. I know I will got the question related with this issue. Yes, this one you can make it also with SM2 Pro, the, the clone, or if you have the original much better. You can do it through a bench. I try already and it works. I will tell you 100% it will work also with that clone. Don't ask me question related to it, KT200 or Fox Flash because I don't have it yet. I said I will buy because I need like a second tool and what I saw on website is not bad but maybe I'll go for the original one because imagine if the clone is good the original will be at least two times better than a clone. We save this file and then we are ready to go. You notice we have the file saved and from here I will load the data and as I said we are ready to go. The file is loaded. The procedure on writing is much faster like usually. You notice the voltage is still okay. I hear people or the people are asking me what happens if you don't have a battery maintainer and you use the, another car to give power, it happens nothing. I tried this over 8-9 years and it happens nothing. It's better to have a wires like that than to don't have nothing. 
and what can happen, what can be bad. Because you'll put 14 volt on the battery itself, it's similar when I will start this car, maybe we'll put more than that, maybe we'll push around 14.5 if the battery is empty. It's almost finished. It is finished. You notice what he will tell us to go on disconnect. Let's see what we have here before to disconnect the car, because it will take a little bit. It wrote only a quarter of the size of this dump, or maybe less than that. I believe this one have four megabyte. Don't forget to disconnect. We disconnect this one. For safety reason, I will unplug also the flex. Safety reason for flex, I mind the for the flex himself, not for something else, because it's fucking expensive. I will close the video here. This one, it can make the checksum correction, but I do it already with uh, another programmer. But flex, it can do uh, checksum correction. This is the way how we can read and write this ECU, the SID211. Like always, I hope the video, it was interesting for you. It will bring you at least one information there. It's not so much to say, then see us to next video. Bye-bye.